So in all things that I do, this got a little bit more complicated, so I wanted to be able to show you um, how we hung these things. You can see under there, there's one bar. Okay, so we put three of these up, one for each bed. And basically what this is allowing us to do is to use not only the studs on the side of the wall to secure the bed, but the studs on the back of the wall and in the corner, which makes it all the more supported. Are you paying attention to what you're doing? Okay, good. So um, we measured, we took a stud finder and basically figured out where the far left and the far right of the stud were, used, you know, just judged by our eye where the center of that was, and that's where we drilled in the, um, the lag bolts. And those are five inch lag bolts. And if you look here, you can see, this is how we drilled the holes into these boards that are up on the wall. We used a, let me see if I can find it so I can show you. It's undoubtedly, I mean, this place is just covered with tools, but oh, here we go. Okay, so we used a one and three eighths inch bore bit to drill deep enough so that your, this is a half inch, um, a five inch, half inch in diameter, but a five inch long lag bolt with a washer. So we, you just wanna make sure that, that, that the washer is sunk in to that hole. Once you go that far with the one and three eighths bore, then you use, and if I can't find it, oh here, a half inch bore to go all the way through, I think even in this case we used a 9 sixteenths to go all the way through. And then that way, when you put this in, when you put your bolt in, so if you have this up on the wall, and I can't take this out, because as you can see it's kind of holding the bed right now, but if you have this up against the wall, you're going to want to put this in perfectly straight. Not left, not right, up or down, but perfectly straight. Hammer this end with a hammer, and that will give you your, basically a starting, your pilot hole for putting, for drilling the hole into the drywall and then into the stud. And then you take a regular bit, I don't know what the terminology here is for this, I just call it a regular bit, and go straight in to the um, stud. Then you put this board up on the wall, put these in, and get the arm work out of your life closing these down. Um, basically using, and I, oh here it is. I mean, you know, you're just doing it all by hand. And we do have a tool, if you have, you know, if you're in your spare time, if you work with NASCAR and you have like the power tool that lets you take the tires on and off, you could use that. Um, but the compressor tank for that weighs a couple hundred pounds, so we didn't bring that in. So we just use this to get it in, but this won't take it all the way in. So you're gonna have to use something like this to um, get it in all the way. So you'll have two bolts on your support board. And then what you'll do, okay, come around here, Mom. cameraman Jack. Um, you will rest the edge. In fact, you can probably see it from up underneath. So this right here is your support board that was in the wall. And then this is the frame of the bed. So these hang over and they rest on this board perfectly. And then what you do is while someone is holding the other end up, you're going to put two, two or so screws, just use deck screws or something, like three inch, three and a half inch deck screws, go into here just to stabilize it. It will not hold it. So you'll, you're still going to have to have somebody or something holding the end of this thing. And then you go through here and find all of your studs. So we had a stud here, here, and here and we went through that same process. Now, when you're doing these, you don't have to use the big one and three eighths or whatever that was in a uh, boring bit. You just use your nine sixteenths because you don't need to be able to countersink the jack, the, the jack, the lag bolts, Freudian slip. So um, you just put these in and secure them. And then when you're finished with that, then you're gonna put more deck screws. We just do high, low, high, low, high, low, all the way across here. So. Once you've done that, the bed is predominantly secure. Um, I still have, I still have a clamp. I'm using it as like a jack over here, um, just to give it some support. And then we went ahead and put the eye bolt. These are four inch eye bolts. I think they're three eighths inch in diameter and they're four inches long. Um, 
that in here, it, you're going to want to go kind of low so that you don't hit, remember you have a, a, a screw cragged in here. So this goes here, and then you can see up high, basically measure from your wall to the end. In my case, it was 45 and a half inches. So you're going to go from here up 45 and a half inches, find your stud, and put that in at an angle. So it's kind of coming down. It just gives you a little bit more to work with in terms of torquing it and I think the term might be cantilever, not really sure, cantilever, I don't know. But um, also, you know, sometimes people put these eye bolts in the top here, and I've seen a lot of plans that call for that, but, um, and you could do it, and people have done it very successfully. It made um, Big Rob a little nervous because if the threads start to wear over time, there's just a possibility of it coming loose. So he felt like putting it over here was a much safer bet in terms of pulling and um, whatnot. And then I have the rope which will ultimately provide the final point of, so you'll, you'll put this, this will end up going in, I'm gonna do this in a little bit, it'll tie down here, and then it'll pull up and tie through there, and that should make it completely secure. Actually, this bed up here, in the end, um, because it's such a small room, it's 10 by 10 by 10, this is the configuration we sort of had to have so this is worst possible case scenario. If you can do these in the middle of the wall, it'll be a heck of a lot easier than doing them in the corners. But this is what we've got to work with, so this is what we're dealing with. Because of that, though, we have, I think, 30 inches between each bed. So this bed is high enough that we can't get the right, I believe the term Rob used was Pythagorean theorem, and I got left back in math uh, like at least a year before Pythagorean theorem. So, but the bottom line is there's not enough wall space up there to put, um, to use a rope to actually hold the bed. So this is really more decorative than anything else. We'll have a rope and more decorative. And what we're gonna do instead is take a two by four and come up and just go right under. So, and I'll show you, I'll have a picture of this at the end, but it'll just be sitting right under this. So it'll just provide a little extra support for, for Jack up there. So that's basically how the whole thing is, um, Jack being a person, not the Jack, just to be clear. Um, that's basically how the whole thing is put together. We did take off every other slat. Um, I would recommend not putting on <laughs> every slat when you're first building it. If you can, even put on one out of every three and then when the whole thing is done and secure, you can climb up there and screw your slats on. The lighter you can make these, um, the better, because they are a beast. But two women, I want to make very clear, two women got this one up today. There were no men here.